There were a lot of interesting trends this year in the space of artificial intelligence, an industry that will likely grow to $500 billion of investment by 2024. And of course, we continue to see lots of interesting new companies working on autonomous driving. And that's exactly what Wabi is doing. Wabi is a more recent arrival in the self-driving driverless vehicle space. The company is led by Raquel Erdison, an interesting and very experienced computer scientist, a professor at the University of Toronto. She was also chief scientist for Uber's autonomous vehicle program. But in 2021, she struck out on her own with her own company, Wabi. We see uh, a lot of consolidation in the industry. The approaches are very similar, and there is, you know, very slow progress. Uh, where you know, every solving every single problem becomes more and more difficult. Uh, so we really need a diversity of you know, new thinking uh, in order to solve this complex problem. And that's why the best way to really start new technology is to start afresh and find a new company. So if you look at um, you know what has happened in the industry in self-driving since the DARPA challenge, which is almost two decades ago. Um, we see that you know, there has been meaningful progress, but when it comes to deployment and commercialization, uh, we see very little, you know, very small operation domains and uh, you know, something that is you know, very far from the promise of self-driving everywhere. So this is why Wabi is looking at solving self-driving in a new way, where we are bringing an AI-first approach, where instead of AI being you know, somewhere used in the stack, it's really at the forefront, really unleashing all the power of AI to solve uh, you know, all these complex problems. Together with this AI-first approach, we have a simulation-centric approach that basically enables us to be much faster, much safer, and much less capital intensive than our competitors, and don't rely on driving millions of miles in the real world in order to really test our systems. Instead, uh, we do this in the simulator, which is, you know, much safer, much more efficient. Wabi is setting itself apart to some extent from previous AV companies because Erdison views it as a much more AI intensive form of autonomous driving development. And what that means is a much greater emphasis on simulation, testing vast numbers of vehicles uh, traveling incalculable miles in virtual reality in a simulator. There will be some on-road testing, but the bigger focus is really advanced simulation to accelerate the pace of development. Our approach is very different, which is with Wabi Wall, uh, which is our simulator, is you know next generation, uh, where it really mimics how uh, you know how the real world driving. Uh, works, where uh, it's an immersive and reactive environment. You can think of it as, you know, you are testing the entire software stack um, in the simulator, and it's in a way that for, uh, you know, for the brain of the self-driving vehicle looks the same as if it was in the real world. So we can create digital twins of the real world, we can create, you know, all the possible scenarios that might happen, and then basically test, uh, you know, the entire system to see how it will react if any of these scenarios might, uh, might happen in the real world. So it's a generation of technology that nobody has apart from Wabi. Wabi is going to move into autonomous trucking, which has turned out to be uh, one of the really hot spaces in AV uh, development uh, because of the ongoing shortage in truck drivers, especially on long haul routes. The somewhat greater simplicity of driving on highways versus dense urban environments and just the ever-expanding demand for goods delivery and shipping. Raquel stands out as one of the few women to start an autonomous vehicle company. Women are making progress generally in the AI space, although they are still clearly in the minority. However, when it comes to autonomous vehicle companies, we do see women showing up in greater numbers than they might in other areas of tech. In order to solve such a complex problem as self-driving, you need a diversity of opinions. And in order to uh, have the diversity of opinions, then you need a diverse team. And I think this is something that uh, you know, the field, the industry, uh, needs to do a much better job. And this is something that you know, uh, we uh, care a lot uh, about at Wabi. And we really believe that it's in the collective power of all of us that we actually will come up with the best solutions for work. So the AV space is a very rich area for artificial intelligence activity, and Wabi is one of the companies that we felt 
really uh, earned recognition this year given its fundraising and its rapid pace of development in this space. It's been an incredible journey and there is nothing better than funding a company with the people that you love to work with. Um, so I will say that you know, despite the difficulties and things along the way, this has been an amazing ride and I can be more proud of uh, you know, the team and what they have accomplished.